Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many developers encounter while working with Entity Framework Core. Our viewer has run into a frustrating error when trying to insert a form into their database. The question revolves around the error message, cannot insert explicit value for identity column in table relation when identity insert is set to off. This can be quite perplexing, especially when you're trying to add new records to your database. Welcome back to another technical video. We're gonna go through the question, the answer, and I hope that you get the solution. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and work your way through to getting to that end resolution. Let's get started. The error message indicates that you're trying to insert a value into an identity column, which is not allowed when identity insert is set to off. Let's understand what this means. In your form model, the ID property is marked with database generated option.identity. This means that the database will automatically generate a value for this column when a new record is inserted. When you call the add form method, ensure that you're not manually setting the ID property of the form object. Instead, let the database handle it. Here's how you can modify your code. Additionally, if you need to insert a record into the relation table, make sure that you're not trying to set the ID for that table either. The same principle applies. Finally, if you still encounter issues, consider checking your database schema to ensure that the identity columns are correctly configured. This can often resolve unexpected errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the error with Entity Framework Core, ensure that the foreign key attribute points to the properties in your class, not the type of the entity. For example, use the property name directly. If you follow the convention over configuration principle, you can omit the foreign key attribute altogether by naming your properties conventionally. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.